Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today I am discussing my five day water fast. So basically it's a recap of my experience and I'm gonna answer a few questions that some people sent to me on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Anyways, my Instagram is breaking up with obesity. So head over there, tap follow, come back so we can talk about this water fast, okay? Okay, um, so we're just gonna get down to the point. I did a five day water fast last week. I started my fast on Saturday. I mean, I started my fast on Sunday um, at 9.55 and I broke my fast on Friday of last week again at 9.55. How was my water fast? It was a great experience. You guys, let me just give a little heads up. If you see a watermark on my shirt anywhere, Please ignore it. My dumb steamer decided to have a fit this morning and just, and I'm not changing my outfit because I think I look cute. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. Um, so I did a water fast for five days and it was amazing. Like I have no regrets. I had one bad day, but it wasn't like the entire day was bad. I had a few bad moments because my electrolytes were low. But the minute I um, replenished my electrolytes, I was good to go. So would I do another water fast? Heck yeah, I plan on doing another one. I think in either two or four months, I'm supposed to do them quarterly, but because they feel so great and because they did so much for my body, I may do another one sooner. Till then, I'm just gonna keep fasting intermittently and then I'm going to do my three day fast every new month. So if you wanna take, excuse me, if you wanna join me for my three day fast, Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I am going to share when I start my fast because a lot of people are looking for accountability. It's not a group. You don't have to pay to get into it. I'm going to post when my fast starts and I'm going to post when it ends. If you want to start the same time as me, cool. If you don't, cool. But I'm not charging money for people to fast because there are people on Instagram doing that. And to me, it's the dumbest thing ever. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We'll talk about that another day. Anyway, so the fast was great. I had water and coffee for five days, mostly water. I worked out four of those five days. Um, the other day that I did not work out, I did a lot of walking at work. Um, I had coffee primarily because I really love coffee. Like breaking up with coffee is not the same as breaking up with obesity. I don't want anyone to touch my coffee. Um, so yeah, I did not give up my coffee, but I did not have too much. I had a grande um, Americano from Starbucks. And I don't think that's a lot because I was drinking a gallon of water every day. Um, so I had that, I had coffee. I would replenish my electrolytes with pink Himalayan salt. And then towards the fourth day when I really felt disgusting, I actually used the perfect keto, keto electrolyte capsules to replenish my electrolytes. And I felt amazing. Like those capsules, I don't know what they put in there, but I felt great. And it's literally just electrolytes. There's nothing special in it. There are no fillers because I was scared to take them initially because I thought they would have fillers in them. And fillers contain um, substances that your body would probably have to digest. And the whole point of my fast is for my digestive system to go into hibernation. So taking them, I was a little worried, but I tested my sugar before and after. There was no spike in my insulin. Um, I just felt really, really better. And that's the number one thing when people start fast is always replenish your electrolytes. If you're doing a low carb diet, a ketogenic diet, replenish your electrolytes because you could be feeling like crap because your electrolytes are low. Um, what else? That was it. The whole experience was really amazing. Um, I shared it on Instagram and I documented it on YouTube. So if you haven't watched it, there are videos up of like every single day. Um, showing you all my progress, my body change. As far as my weight, I lost 15.4 pounds and I went from 258 pounds to 242.4 pounds, which to me is crazy because I didn't expect such a loss because the first time I did a five day fast, I only lost seven pounds. So I'm thinking the loss that I experienced this time was a combination of water retention from my cycle coming and water retention from being inflamed because I do work out, your muscles can, you, you do become inflamed when you're not recovering well, and I'm not the best at recovering well. So I think most of it was like inflammation, AKA water, and then maybe a few were actual pounds. As of today, I'm up to 245, so that's not really a lot of gain, so I think it was water that I lost. So 
I'm okay with that. I didn't do it for weight loss, but if it's a bonus, it's a bonus. Okay. Um, so now we are going to get to the questions that some people sent me on Instagram. I am so happy that you guys asked me questions because I didn't know what this recap video was going to be about. It was literally going to be like three minutes of me just saying, do a water fast. I loved it. It's like, nah, but if you guys hear me say psych not a lot, it's something that we say over here on the East Coast. Psych not, it's like, oh, I'm kidding. You know, like psych, you know, kidding. Um, so yeah, if you don't understand that, you now know what psych not means. It's like, I'm kidding. No. All right. So let's get to the questions. All right. So the first question I got was actually really good because a lot of people don't know what fasting is. So the first question was, what is a prolonged fasting? What I did was a prolonged fasting, an extended fasting, water fasting. They're basically all the same thing in my opinion. Um, I answered it by saying, prolonged fasting is when you go 48, 72, or 96 hours or longer, or in my case, five days without eating. Water fasting is simply consuming strictly water. No food, no protein shakes, no green juices, nothing. You are eating nothing. I added coffee to my allowed fluid so I allowed, I allowed myself coffee for the five days that I was fasting, but that was about it. So basically, prolonged, extended, and water fasting is going hours or days without eating. You're simply consuming just water. Yes, you can add black tea or black coffee, but that's it. You cannot add salsa water, sparkling water. No, no. Um, next question was, what are you allowed to consume during your extended fast? Like I mentioned, you can have water, you can have more water, you can have more water, you can have coffee, you can have tea, but it has to be black. There are people on Instagram saying I can put a teaspoon of heavy cream or half and half in my tea and it won't count as anything because of the fat content it does not matter how high the fat content is your body will still have to digest that you are not doing an extended fast you're probably doing intermittent fasting but you're not doing an extended fast or a water fast a water fast is strictly water nothing else it doesn't matter if you put literally an eyedropper of heavy cream in your coffee <clears throat> it's still not a water fast no next question can you have gum, MCT oil, sparkling water, salsa water, heavy cream, and sweeteners? Answer is simply no. And I'm not going to explain why because I literally just told you. No, we're on a water fast, we're on a prolonged fast, we're on an extended fast. You cannot have any of that. Can you work out while you're fasting? Absolutely, yes you can. Um, I worked out four out of the five days like I mentioned earlier. Um, and it, it was amazing. Exercising actually helps to speed up how fast your body gets into ketosis if you are on a ketogenic diet. Exercising increases the fat burning process. Now, when you all hear fat burning, do not think literally. We don't literally burn fat, you guys. Please. Um, how do you manage your electrolytes during fasting? Great question. If you are feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or having a headache, you may need to replenish your electrolytes. To keep your electrolytes balanced, you can have bone broth. I hate bone broth. I cannot stand it. If you are African and know what Maggi cubes are, to me, bone broth tastes like taking a Maggi cube and putting it in warm water and drinking it. And that is absolutely disgusting. For anyone who likes it, no offense to you, I personally just cannot stomach it. Like, I just can't. No. You can have apple cider vinegar diluted with water. You can have lemon juice diluted with water. You can have pickle juice. And the reason you can have all these to replenish your electrolytes, not to drink throughout the day, is because they are zero calories and will not spike your insulin. Next question. Do you regain the weight you lost after breaking your fast? Your post-fast diet will determine whether you gain the weight back or maintain your loss. Also, the state in which your body was in prior to your fast also determines whether you will regain the weight or not. In my case, I've gone up maybe two plus pounds and I don't know if that's where my actual weight is or if that's because my cycle is coming in three days. Um, but I haven't gained back the entire 15 that I lost and I'm not doing anything differently. After I broke my fast, I went right back to my ketogenic diet. I didn't really change anything. I'm just making sure that I'm eating more whole foods and less processed foods. If it's coming out of the packaging, I don't want it. Um, so again, in my case, I was very inflamed and my cycle was 11 days away when I did my fast. So I know the water retention had already begun 
and my body was preparing as my body was preparing for this period for my period so with that being said most of what i lost was probably water and maybe a few actual pounds but i think it was mainly water um i also got another question how do you know when to break your fast if you are feeling nauseous and drinking cold water or anything like coffee or tea is not helping break your fast if you are feeling dizzy lightheaded shaky and replenishing your electrolytes does not help break your fast if you are experiencing cramping and replenishing your electrolytes is not helping break your fast if your stomach is hurting to a point that is unbearable break your fast if your sugar is so low you feel like you are going to pass out break your fast anything that feels out of the norm is a sign for you to break your fast fasting does not mean you should allow yourself to suffer the whole point of fasting is not suffering it's an actual enjoyable experience like being able to wake up and not think about food is an actual it's actually a great thing but if you're thinking about food or stressing or just not feeling well i would break the fast and try another time you don't have to force yourself through it there's this saying in my low in my culture or amongst africans is it's not by force right it's not by force don't force yourself like don't force yourself to do something that you know is going to end up harming you like if you are stressing throughout your fast and your goal for this fast was to lose weight, I promise you, you wouldn't lose weight because the entire time your cortisol is up, meaning you're probably going to be the same weight or you might gain weight. So with that being said, if you do not feel well, if you don't feel like yourself, break your fast and try it another time. It's not that serious. Um... I got a few other questions on Instagram. I just don't remember what they are. I did not type them into my Google Drive. I'm sorry. If I missed your question, please leave it in the comment box below and I will answer it thoroughly. I love to be thorough because it helps people. And I love the fact that people want to get into fasting. It really is a great way to heal your body. I'm going to do another video where why I explain. I'm going to do another video. Damn, Phoebs where I explain why I got into fasting and what exactly it's doing for my body and why I plan to stick with it for the rest of my life. Um, my last words of advice are just listen to your body. Just because I or anyone else off and on Instagram can fast for multiple days does not mean you can. I had a few people decide to start a five day fast the day I started mine. I mean, the day I ended mine and they were sending me pictures of their fasting app like, oh my God, you motivated me. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try it. I've done a five day fast before, so I didn't just jump in head first. And I really wasn't happy about that because it's scary that people are doing this without really doing their research, without learning their body, and we're probably not even trying fasting ever. Like if you've never even tried a 12, 14, 16, 20, 24 hour fast, why would you do a five day fast? There are people who can do it, but to me, I feel like you have to work your way up. That's just, that's what I would do. Um, replenish your electrolytes. Replenish your electrolytes. Replenish your electrolytes. Replenish your electrolytes. Please. Um, stay busy. Move around. Just because you're doing a prolonged fast does not mean you can sit on your butt all day. Go for a walk. Do some yoga. Clean your house. Try a new workout class. Clean your car. Take your kids to the park. Just stay active, like just move. The whole point of fasting is to not lay there and pretend you're dying. The whole point of fasting is to just keep your regular life, okay? Nothing about your life is changing except the fact that you're not sitting down for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks. You're fasting. So nothing should change. Do what you normally do, just don't eat. Um, make sure your reason for doing an extended fast is deeper than just wanting quick weight loss. We have to get out of that mentality that quick or instant gratification is best. It's not. Instant gratification does not last. Quick does not last. Just like a quick weight loss does not last, quick fasting to lose weight will not last. You will gain the weight back and probably some more. Get out of that mentality. Do your research on fasting. Learn why it's been used for centuries as a great way to heal the body and a great way to treat many chronic illnesses, metabolic disorders, it, Fasting does amazing things. If you are looking for someone to look, if you are looking for someone who can help you learn about fasting, Jason Fong is the guy. He is amazing. He's amazing. And Dr. Jockers is also amazing, but Jason Fong, oh my God. Oh. Um, 
you will feel hungry during your fast. This is hungry. I mean, this is this is normal and it is temporary. You will feel hungry. It is normal. It is temporary. You will have hunger pains. It is normal. It is temporary. You will think about food. You will daydream about food. You will smell food in ways you've never smelled food before. It is temporary and it is very normal and it too shall pass. Um, you don't have to tell people about your fast. The world is going to have opinions about everything that you do. So the best way to just keep your opinions away, don't tell them. People are going to say you're starving yourself. People are going to say you're going to extreme lengths to lose weight. Just don't tell them. If you want to do this fast for you, do it for you. The world does not have to know anything. It's your body. It's your rules. What you choose, what you choose to do with it is you are doing and no one else's. Ignore all of that. Um, keep in mind that fasting is a choice. Starvation is not. So when people are throwing out the starving word, tell them that you would never willingly choose to starve yourself. You are choosing to fast, meaning there is food in your refrigerator. There is food in your kitchen cabinets. There is food at your job. There is food at the vending machine staring at you every time you walk into work or walk somewhere. There is food everywhere. You are choosing to fast. You are choosing not to eat. You are choosing not to use your money to get those foods that are calling your name. We are not starving ourselves. We are fasting, period. Um... Slowly, and then the last piece of advice I have before you get into your fast, if you are not on a ketogenic diet, I will slowly cut back carb and sugar intake because they are addictive and it can make the first couple of days in your fast hard. So I would slowly cut back on them before I begin my extended fast. And then once you feel like you're ready, go for it. Anyways, that is all I have. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and I will answer them thoroughly like thoroughly thank you all for joining me i cannot wait to keep doing more videos for you all this fast was amazing my next fast is probably going to be seven or ten days i'm excited um it's just it was great i have no regrets i made no mistakes my body feels great i feel great um fasting is forever you know it's a forever thing for me anyways thank you all so much for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for watching thank you for commenting Thank you for getting me to 500 subscribers. I am so excited to keep growing with you. I'm so excited to keep learning and sharing and everything else. So here is to 500 more subscribers. <laughs> Thank you all so much and see you later.